Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Diego with the lovely Karina here in Bogota, Colombia. High up in the Andes Mountains, we're waiting for our K-1 visa to get adjudicated at the service center in California. And we're in month eight. We got our NOA-1 letter back in April. And here we are. And uh, we just started January. So in another week or so, we're going to start week month nine. Now this video is about reasons to expedite your K-1 visa. Why do you want to expedite it? Come on along, listen up, okay? And we'll explain it to you. Now we understand, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that you are frustrated and you're getting impatient waiting for your K-1 or CR-1 visa, okay? So in your mind, you are thinking, how can I speed up this process and what are the what are the rules for expediting my case? So what exactly what is the criteria, okay, for a visa expedite? Well, let me explain it to you, okay? It's very simple. Number one, number one, if USCIS has made a blatant error in processing your visa, they absolutely messed it up, okay? It's, a, it's the government's fault, okay, then USCIS will contact you and say, oops, we're sorry, or you contact USCIS, and they will put you to the head of the line because it was their mistake, okay? So number one, it's a government mess up at USCIS. It's a reason to expedite your visa. Number dos, numero dos, number two. If it's in the best interest of the US government, to bring your beneficiary to the United States, Mr. Sponsor, if that person has a critical skill, you know, like they're a doctor, they're an engineer, um, they have solved the complexities of the universe, whatever it is, okay, if it's going to benefit the government or the United States of America, this is a reason to expedite your case. For example, Mr. Sponsor, you are in the United States military serving our republic, keeping us free and safe, and you're fixing to deploy, okay, you're gonna deploy somewhere, and, and that would be in the best, that would be a reason for an expedite in regards to the government, okay? You can expedite your case, okay? Got it? All right. Numero tres, number three, okay? If your beneficiary works with a nonprofit organization, or you, Mr. Sponsor, okay, that is beneficial in helping the United States of America. For example, uh, if you work for a nonprofit organization that's being designated by the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, okay, and it will be, and it will and your beneficiary will help the cultural or social interests of the U.S. government. That's a reason to expedite your case, okay? Nonprofit organization. And last but not least, numero cuatro, number four, okay? You can expedite your case, Mr. Sponsor, for humanitarian reasons, which covers a broad category, which is screened very carefully by USCIS. Okay, what are examples of a humanitarian expedite? Okay, an illness. Mr. Sponsor, you got sick, you know, you tore your ligaments in your shoulder, and you can't work your right arm, so you need your beneficiary to come over, get married, so she can help you in the house while you get better, okay? Or a disability. You know, you, you missed a sponsor, you get in a car wreck, and you broke your leg, and you need your beneficiary to come and help you around the house. That's a, that's a reason for an expedite, okay? Extreme living conditions, okay? What, you know, your beneficiary's house burns down, or gets wiped out in a, in a hurricane, or gets destroyed in a faraway war, and a house is destroyed, and she's got nowhere to live, he's got no place to live, that's a good reason for an expedite, okay? If your beneficiary, or no, let's suppose, in, yeah, your beneficiary, she needs to travel, he needs to travel for emergency medical treatment in a very short period of time, and the only place that he or she can get this treatment is in the United States of America, that's a reason to expedite your case. So that, ladies and gentlemen, are the four main reasons to expedite your case, okay? Now, 
to increase efficiency in the review and processing of an expedite request, USCIS does not provide any justification or otherwise respond to decisions regarding the expedite. So if your expedite gets denied, it's denied. There's no pity party, there's no oh why, there's no letter of explanation. Dear Mr. Sponsor, this is the reason that we denied your expedite. There's no letter, no. It's denied. It's either A, approved, or B, denied. That's it. Okay, now with that said, the average, uh, daily, the, the average daily expedite request is sitting at around 175 to 180 requests a day. Okay? or 65,335 expedites a year, which, which equates to a football stadium full of people, right? So if you, Mr. Sponsor, request an expedite on your K-1 visa, and it's not a justified reason, it's you miss your beneficiary, wee, wee, wee. okay, if it's a whiny excuse, you know, then USCIS will think that you are trying to jump the line in front of all you people out there watching, all you great wonderful YouTube viewers watching our channel, and it's actually your channel, not our channel, you're watching your channel, and somebody in the group tries to jump the line, that's not very nice, is it? So what does USCIS do? They're going to put a little asterisk by your name, and they're going to flag your case, okay? Does that mean they're going to deny your case? No. Are they going to speed it up? No, it's going to go into the slow lane where, my, where grandma and grandpa drive on this Sunday. That's where your visa is going to go. It's going to slow down because you tried to jump the line. So if you don't want to get your case slowed down, be patient. Okay. Don't jump the line and don't submit these frivolous expedite requests. All it does is slow down the process for everybody else, including Karina. And we don't like that. We want to get this done and over with, just like you guys. If, if you uh, expedite your visa request and it's not justified, it's a, irrelevant, it's a stupid excuse, okay? Your grandmother's cat died and you want your beneficiary to go to the, uh, to the pet store with you to buy a new cat, no, okay? This shows that you, Mr. Sponsor, have not done your homework, you don't understand the process, okay? You don't understand what justifies an expedite, and USCIS think you're just desperate to get your beneficiary, or your beneficiary is desperate to get to the United States. Just hang in there, be patient, okay? Follow the rules, and you will get your visa. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Now, in fiscal year 2024, which commences in October of next year, K-1 visas are gonna get processed in six, seven, eight months, okay, according to the head director of USCIS. She said that, okay? So be patient, you're gonna get your visa. Don't jump the line, don't be impatient. You know, hang in there. And uh, we will see you guys in, Colombia. and hopefully soon in the United States. United States. Hang in there.